Welcome back to the channel everybody. My name is Corey and today we're going to be taking a look at the popular trail running company, Ultra. Alright guys, so on today's video I got a pair of the Ultra Lone Peak 4s. This isn't a review by any means, but it's just gonna give you a little bit of a guinea pig to go off of in terms of talking about the Ultra Trail brand. You might know from recent videos that I'm more of a Hoka guy myself, but the Ultra Trail company is getting widely popular, especially out here in Colorado, trail runners, hikers, and I've noticed them more and more on the trail, so I kinda of just wanted to figure out what I liked about them myself, take a look at them, and dive in a little deeper. The two biggest things you're gonna notice about the shoe company, and in their shoes in particular, are in the toe box, and there's zero drop, which means that from the heel to the toe, it's completely flat. There is zero angle whatsoever. And in the toe box, you're gonna notice it's not so rounded. It's gonna be shaped more for the anatomy of the foot, so it gives you more of a natural feel. And what Ultra is trying to do is make running as natural as possible. So I've actually enjoyed running in Ultra shoes so far. I'm more of a midfoot runner, so having a zero drop shoe really helps, especially on those days where I want a recovery run and I'm not trying to stress my legs into lifting so much. So when I'm doing a trail run in a zero drop shoe, going uphill or downhill, it makes the effort of having your feet go over rocks or boulders or downhill less by being more in a natural state. I notice in a lot of my shoes, like when I'm wearing my Hoka Speed Goats, Torrents, or even the Wild Horse 6s, that when I'm running uphill, I'm more naturally leaning forward so every once in a while I'll catch a rock or two and I might even take a digger at times. Whereas wearing ultras really make you in keen with the trail, you're gonna be more in tune with it and I think in that regard, you're gonna have more of a response where when you have to go over a rock or if you have to go downhill, you're gonna have more of a natural feeling, especially when you're tired. It's gonna be great to have a shoe like this. Another thing I like about these ultras, especially when you're on road runs, is that it forces you to have a higher up posture. So when you're doing like a recovery run, and you're getting tired at the end of your run, you might be leaning forward more and putting more pressure on your quads. These actually make you lean back a little bit, so you're utilizing your hamstrings, which are gonna be working a lot of different muscles when you're running. And in doing so, you might think that you would be heel striking a little more than usual, but because of the zero drop, you're not gonna see that. You're gonna still see the same midfoot strike if you're a midfoot striker like me. Now, what I would like to see out of Ultra is to have more of a plush insole. The insoles that they give you I mean, they're not the worst thing in the world, but if you wanna put something more plush, maybe orthotics in, because of that natural foot design in the toe box, you might have a tough time finding specific insoles that you wanna put in. And when you're in a zero drop shoe, you might find it difficult like me, where when you land, it's actually hard to get a little bit of a jump off into the next step or your stride. You kinda of feel like it's a flat ride and you need to put a little bit more effort into the next step or actually pushing off the ground. Another thing that I would really like to see is a company like Hoka or Solomon take one of their most popular shoes like the Solomon Sense Rides or the Hoka Speedgoat or Torrance, maybe even the EVO Jaws and making it a zero drop shoe and seeing just what kind of shoe it would be. I know that kind of goes against some of their specific designs in those companies, but if they can make a zero drop shoe in one of their popular shoes, I think that you would actually see an increase of people going from ultras to those companies in particular. One particular group of people that I think this shoe is gonna be really good for, especially down the road, that I've already seen already, has to be your weekend warriors, your hikers, your through hikers. I mean, for somebody that wants to do like the Appalachian Trail, Teton Crest, Pacific Crest, or the Continental Divide Trail, I think this shoe is gonna fit a lot in regards to what they're looking for. It's gonna be a lighter shoe and the fabric is gonna dry out really well. And also in their trailing series, they really favor gaiters. I mean, they make specific straps and pulls that you can actually put a gaiter on these shoes pretty easily. So if you're a thru hiker, I think that these shoes are gonna fit the bill in a lot of different categories, and they're gonna be able to extend you a lot of time and miles on the trail. These shoes are gonna be light enough to where after a 10, 20 mile day, you're gonna feel a little fatigue on your feet. You're still gonna be a little fatigued. I mean, a 20 mile day, that's pretty tough, especially if you're going over passes, elevation gains, but you want a light shoe like this in regards to that. But anyway, that was my conclusion on Ultra. They're a great running company, definitely worth trying out. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, be sure to subscribe, share, and check out my page. You can also follow along on Instagram and Strava if you like to underneath Corey Grasser. But I just want to say thanks again for stopping by and checking out this video, and have a great rest of your day.